also known as Dragonfly 7673. You're watching Dragonfly Soars. I'm recording this on February 17th and it is about 6.45 in the evening. I have a tigger here because of course he needs attention while I'm podcasting. I must be talking to him. Anyway, I realized that recently that next month is our three-year podiversary. Um, I am really surprised to realize that it's been three years. I keep thinking it must be two, but it's not. <laughs> um, I was looking at old episodes because of the whole blip issue, and I was trying to decide um, whether I should copy stuff over to YouTube. And I decided for right now, I'm still on blip, and so I'm not going to change the website to pull YouTube videos where their blip videos are now, unless there's a reason to. And right now there's not a reason to. Um, it There is the issue of the um, blip not feeding into iTunes anymore. However, I am fairly certain that you can still pull via the RSS feed. Um, so I'm actually going to be changing to a uh, Feedly or feed burner, feed burner, feed, um, so that I can put that on iTunes and if I ever have to change my feed in the background, I can do that. Um, I have one kind of running right now. Right now it's pulling the HipCast feed, which now means I have three things coming into my downcast because I pulled Blip, I pulled HipCast directly, and, I've been pu and I pulled the, um, the Feedly feed to make sure that it worked. So I, I had all these podcasts in Downcast and a good chunk of them were me. So I did not watch them all. I went through them just real fast to make sure that they were um, functioning. So um, it, I'm not going to email them until later this week. But if you notice that it was up on the blog and it's in the Ravelry group, but you're not getting it in your Downcast app or your iTunes, you may have to resubscribe. I'll try and keep an eye out on it. I'll try to keep an eye on it for you. So, all right, knitting. Um, there was no spinning this week. Um, I just, I went to, last week I told you that I was going to be spending time with my mom and my son. So Wednesday night I left straight from work and went to their house. Best friend was home this weekend so he took care of the kitties and he doesn't live here. We still live separately but he comes by and he spends like an entire afternoon with them or something like that. So he'll work from like lunch till five o'clock and spend time with them. So they got lovies and they were happy and uh I, uh, my son had an annual IEP meeting, which is why we went there, and we had, it was so much better than the IEP meetings in the past. He has grown so much as a human being this past year that we got a lot of very good reviews. It's not perfect. He still needs to work on stuff, but his attitude is good. His participation in class is good. Um, it, it was just, it was a much, much better review than we've had in previous years. And so that was good. And then Saturday, he and I spent the day together and we went to, we ran a couple errands and we went to go see the Lego movie. So, and we just, we had a nice time. Um, he's talking about getting a job this summer, which he is perfectly, that's the stage of life he is in. Um, he should, he's... He'll be, he's 17 now. Um, he doesn't have his driver's license yet um, because the driver's ed time period met, uh, over was during study hall period and we didn't think that was a good choice for him. So he has study hall during, or he's going to have driver's ed in the summer and uh, he also wants to get a job this summer, um, which is all things he should be doing, but it means that this coming spring break is probably the last major time I will have with him and um, it's making me a little 
sad. I'm I'm so proud of him, and I'm so proud of who he is. And um, when I moved him to my mom's, this was always the plan that if he did well there, he would finish there. Um, because why move him again if he's doing if he's doing great? So, but it is a little it, it's a little bittersweet when I realize that um, I'm running low on time with him. I mean, I already had the empty nest a little bit, but it's coming more real that he's not coming back. <laughs> well, I say that, and you never know. <laughs> These days, lots of times kids come back, and I've always told him that as long as he's being a productive member of society, meaning you have a job, you're volunteering, you're doing something that's not just sitting at home, that, you know, I will be proud of him and we'll figure things out. But anyway, I'm sorry, that was very rambly, but... <laughs> When we went to the Lego movie, I started knitting on a hat for Halos. I never remember if it's Halos for Hope or Halos of Hope. I think it's Halos of Hope. And um, our hat drive isn't until later this year, but I am going to see Angela, who is Angel Mom 3, at Natopia, and I wanted to bring her at least one hat. Um, I may not bring any more than that. I realized today that everything I'm knitting is for other people. But I did finish this hat. This is made out of Knit Picks Brava. It is their, uh, it's the Brava bulky weight. It is 100% um, acrylic, but it's really soft. I used this to make a baby blanket last year or the year before, the castle blanket. And um, I really, I really like how it feels. Um, I think it will, holding it like this, I think it will be soft enough on a bare head. I sure hope so. Um, I'm not sure what possessed me to order orange. I mean, the color is called orange. I was thinking maybe it wasn't that bright on the website, but I looked today, and I'm like, no, it's it's just orange. Um, but I hope that at least it's interesting. This is the Chunky Dean or Chunky Street Dean hat, something like that. Um, but I was knitting it in the movie theater, and I glanced down the road. Actually, I hadn't pulled it out yet, but I glanced down the road in the, the row, and there was only seven seats in our row. And there was my son and I, and then there was a couple on the end. And I looked over, and the woman is knitting, and I kind of, you know, smacked my son and said, hey, look, I'm not the only crazy one. And the guy she was with saw me, and he kind of he looked, and I said, I've got my knitting in my purse. And so he nudged her, and <laughs> we shared the uh, needle nod. And, uh, and she she smacks him and says, "See, I'm not the only crazy one." <laughs> but uh, it, it was kind of nice. Um, but that hat is done, except for I have not woven in the ends. Um, I'll probably I'll wash it too. But it's done, um, so I have at least one hat done. So the things I needed to do was swap hat and a knitted toy for donation. And I showed you last week that I'm working on Bruno the Bear. I did not bring up the picture this time. I'll pop it in here. But last time you saw, I only had the very start of one foot done. I now have two feet and two legs, and I've joined for the body. So there's a little spot right here that's loose that I might just take a needle and thread and tighten up later because it's bugging me. But um, you do the you do the legs... You do one leg, bind it off. You do the second leg, and you you fold it in half, and you crochet across the top, do some chaining, and crochet across the other top, and that row becomes the start of the body, so it's all together. So it's probably going to take me a while, but I did get eyes today. They came in the mail, so that is a safety eye. I actually have a pack of, I don't know, one, two, three pairs, so six eyeballs. I didn't need that many, but they were really cheap on Etsy, and that's the way it came. So, um, I think it will be, I think it'll be about the right size. So, anyway, I, I am actually enjoying the bear. I think he is turning out well, so I'm happy. He's just going to take a while because he's all single crochet. And I thought about cheating and to make it into double crochet, but 
I think then his stuffing would come out, so. Um, really the only other thing I worked on, because I, the hat I started Saturday and then finished Sunday. Um, during the movie, I started it, and then I, um, actually, I cast on and did the first two rows at home before we left, because I don't like, I didn't want to try starting knitting in the round in the dark. But um, then I worked on it in the movie. I worked on it at home during watching uh, episodes of The Bachelor on the ABC app on my iPad. So, and then I finished it yesterday while Best Friend and I were doing something. We were watching something. I don't even know what we were watching. But I've also worked on the Socks on a Plane. Um, they are, I don't remember exactly where you saw them last, but I know they've significantly grown. So, compared to the other, to the other one, um, this stripe, the purple stripe I just finished is actually where the um, heel flap will go in, or, well, not heel flap, but the afterthought heel will go in. So, I'm about halfway. I had some, um, mindless data entry stuff to do, which I pretty much cheat and do run a macro, um, a clicky macro, and, uh, but I have to babysit it, so I can sit and knit on my sock at least. Um, I have a snuggle from mom, since I went to go visit her. This is the snuggle she made for our snuggle drive. And so it's in my pile. I have not made any more snuggles. Like, I did a whole whoop of them. And then I started the comfort shawl. Oh, I am not going to Canada next week. So as long as they don't cancel the meeting for Threads of Compassion, I am planning to go to it next Tuesday. Um, so I will actually get to meet some of the people. I just, if we're going to be doing the comfort shawl drive through March and April, which I know some of you have already started. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to meet them you know, if at all possible, so. Um, but I did not work on the comfort shawl because I'm trying to get stuff done for Natopia. Um, there's also some other things we could do. There was a knit swirl sweater knit along. There was a possible yarn bombing knit along. And there's a whole bunch of stuff, and some of it I just... If Tina's watching, I hope she doesn't mind, but some of it I'm not going to do because I've got enough stuff on my plate. And I don't. I'm doing the ones, the important ones. Um, I have my Kindle here because I was going to tell you I am reading I don't I used to read a ton I mean I used to just plow through books I would spend all day reading um, now that I'm a knitter I have not mastered the art of knitting and reading and I realize I could listen to audiobooks but it's just not something I've really picked up on um, when I used to do Tigger don't you jump up there he wants to jump up on top of the cabinet, and if he does, a whole bunch of stuff is going to fall down. Um, years ago, I used to listen to audiobooks while I did cross-stitch, um, but that was before iPads and tablets and things like that, and um, we only had one TV in the house, and if, you know, it was a Saturday, Dad was watching, you know, if he wasn't outside, if he was inside, he was watching... Uh, gardening or this old house or uh, race car driving something so uh, I listen to audiobooks then these days I just don't usually um, but I finished reading Grounded um, which several podcasters have talked about because um, it's written by Heather of the Craftlet podcast and I really enjoyed that I didn't really talk about it because everybody else has kind of talked about it um, the I did not cry at the end, but I think by the end I already had guessed what was going to happen, and I kind of I did I will admit I kind of skimmed through the <laughs> through the end, um, and then I was trying to figure out what to read next because I have I still think that I'm going to read a ton, and I don't actually read nearly as fast as I used to, and so I have all these books on my Kindle, and. Uh, I finally decided on Neil Gaiman's American Gods, which is now very popular. And I actually had the book when it 
first came out because it was part of um, a sci-fi book club and I used to get the that was one of those book clubs I'm sure some I'm sure many of you remember from the the 80s and 90s and you would be in book clubs or Tigger no no you're gonna break something um, there used to be music and book clubs and you would sign up and you had to buy so many within a year um, to complete your membership and every month they would send you one or two items unless you remember to respond that you didn't want it and I got American Gods because it was one of the ones I forgot to respond and then I decided well it sounded interesting enough I'd keep it but I never read it so I have the hard I actually have the book somewhere um, when I moved I never actually unpacked all the books because I don't have a place to put them um, but I started reading it on the Kindle, and the Kindle version is actually an updated version. Um, and I'm really enjoying it so far, and I'm wishing I had read it sooner. Um, Alright. I'm going to stop, post pictures of everything here, and pick up a box that the cat's knocked down, because it has the next batch of things I wanted to show you. So, I got a box in the mail this past weekend. Um, a very generous viewer donated yarn for prizes for this year. And she asked that I not share her name, but she knows who she is and she knows I very, very much appreciate this. Um, she asked if I wanted any of a batch and I had said yes to a couple things and then she she laughed and said she was just going to send it all. <laughs> so, which so generous and I haven't some of the things I know where they're going to go in the scheme of the prizes and some I well actually I guess two things I know where they're going to go I'll pull those first um, this there are two balls of Knit Picks Felici in the lighthouse colorway so it has uh, white, blue, and there's a little bit, and there's a little bit of a light blue. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be there, or if it's kind of where the the dye ran through, but it's a really, it's really pretty. I think it will knit up nicely. Um, so there are two 50 gram balls of Knit Picks Felici, and I love Knit Picks Felici. I use it frequently, and because the colorway is called Lighthouse. I am going to, this is going to go in the prize with the summer beach theme. Uh, just like Nikki gave us a project bag that um, Nikki is living for fishing, and she had donated an extra project bag with lighthouses on it, and I decided to go for the beach theme. Well, the lighthouse sock yarn will also go for the beach theme, which was um, July and August. Then this is... This is going for the Comfort Shawl. Remember I said that the Comfort Shawl, Knit Along, Crochet Along, and Weaving. Um, I didn't mention this. Someone asked me, I think it was Spin On Lady, but I'm not positive, and I'm sorry if I have that wrong. Um, someone asked me if it was okay to weave the shawls. So I talked to um, Lynn of Threads of Compassion, which is where we're donating the bulk of the shawls, because they donated shawl, or they give, gave shawls to Tiff and Mom and I when Dad passed away, and we donated uh, tissue and bone marrow. Um, I asked her if it was okay to weave the shawls, and she actually she kind of laughed and said she had been thinking about weaving shawls herself. So she said yes, absolutely, as long as they still meet the criteria of being, you know, 60 to 70 inches wide, and you know. 30 to 40 inches deep, so they're big, um, and acrylic. So other than that, she said, yes, go ahead and weave shawls. So weaving the shawls is allowed. And of course, weaving would be then allowed for the inspiration along, as well as the charity part. But because that, this, this charity is the one that's the most important and means the most to me and the rest of the family, this is the one where I'm putting kind of the cool prizes. 
So there are, this is Cascade Cloud, 70% merino, 30% baby alpaca. It is really soft. It is a, it's a chain. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. But it's not a regular uh, twist ply. It is actually a uh, tight chain ply, like a braid. Um, and it is, there's 164 yards, 100 gram skanks. There are, and I haven't taken pictures of this yet. It just came in, if I had been thinking, I actually worked from home half the day today uh, because we we're having nasty weather. If I had been thinking, I would have taken pictures, but I wasn't. So there are four full skeins. And then she had started a project, or she finished a project, I'm not sure. But there are partial skeins. There are three partial skeins in here. So, there it should be plenty to do a nice size project. Um, so we're going to keep it all in here. Four full skeins plus extra. Um, when I post it, I will weigh the extra and try to approximate how much that is. I have a scale that's a postage scale. Mom got it for me quite a while ago, and she was kind of surprised because it was on my Amazon wish list, and she's like, really? And I'm like, no, really, I wanted it because I, wa I was mailing enough packages, and I use it for weighing my yarn. Well, just recently it has decided that it won't stay set. Um, it, With nothing on it, it goes between... 0.1 and negative 0.2, which means every time I try and use it for dividing stuff, it's okay if I just want an approximate, but it's not very good when I'm trying to actually figure something out. Um, but anyway, this is going to be a prize in the comfort shawl. Um, there is another package kind of like that. This is also Cascade Cloud. This one, there's two full skeins and two partial skeins. They look like pretty big partial skeins. So, um, this may also be a comfort shawl prize. In fact, it probably will. And then, there are two more things. This is alpaca socks from Classic Elite Yarns. It's a really pretty pinks, purples, and there's a gold running through. Um, it is... 60% alpaca, 20% wool, 20% nylon, and um, 100 grams, 450 yards. So it's a it's a fluffy fingering weight. Um, it would probably make a very nice shawl or cowl or something because it's um, it's not real tightly spun. I believe it looks like a two ply. Um, anyway. Very pretty. It will be a prize at some point. I have not decided where it's going to go yet. And this is from Unwind Yarn Company, which is a very good product. And this is, the colorway is Ducky. And it's uh, gold with, all, with touches of greens and reds, which I suspect will kind of knit up Kind of in a tweedy look. Not with the actual little flecks of um, other yarn, but I think it'll give it kind of that look. But it's very pretty. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, anonymous donor. Um, I know who you are, and I really, really appreciate this. Um, We have, next podcast is still February. That'll be February 24th. The following podcast will be March, and that's when I will be drawing winners for the for January and February. So if you are knitting snuggles, and I, I, tr I normally try really hard to keep up on all the um, inspiration uh, inspiration and charity knitting and give kudos and make comments and look up everybody's projects and it just kind of exploded and I do not have the time I have been looking I have seen so many uh, wonderful snuggles um, I saw Liz Stitches posted a picture of 10 snuggles she did that were all in winter colors uh, 
I did send her a message saying that she could um, spread it out and actually make it 10 entries. Um, and it should be 10 entries on our board. And um, I've seen, you know, bright red ones. <laughs> so they then they fit in with the Valentine's Day theme as, too, as well. And um, I saw some really cool spiral gauntlets. I can't remember who made them, but they were really cool. I actually put them in my queue. Oh. There's something else I saw today that I really loved, and now I can't remember what it was. I don't know. I really, I I do go through them, and like I said, I just don't, I know I'm not going to have time to do the, to do the mess, um, messaging with, to all of you about the fabulous job you guys are doing. It's wonderful. Um, so, um, watch the end, because that's where we have the uh, prizes. There are a couple prizes that aren't on there. Um, for March and April, we are going to have the wonderful prize from Crimson Orchid, where she has put together a... Uh, the winner will have a choice of one of two prize packages that has stitch markers and a um, counting bracelet. Um, that picture's not there yet. Maybe if I remember, I'll stick it... Um, on, attach it in there somewhere. And um, Rosary Realm, don't forget, there is a coupon code for... 25% off using the code dragonfly. If you go to her Etsy shop, the last time I looked it was actually up at the top. Um, and oh, and I haven't been, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, if you use Instagram, you can feel free to tag any of your projects, you know, if they're works in progress or finished, with pound dragonfly stores, pound 2014 IA long for inspiration along. Um, so, those are, uh, so far I think Tiff and I are the only ones that actually tag because I keep forgetting to mention it on the podcast. Um, I think that's it. Um, I am sure that when I turn this off I'm going to remember something I forgot because that's been kind of the way it's been. Um, I do have, uh, appointment with the ears, nose, throat tomorrow, um, about the deviated septum. Um, I think that's it. I really do. So I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye now.